highly recommend doing that highly recommend doing that lonely piggy how are you doing hope you're doing well if you scroll up a bit i toss the question your way curious to see what you think i feel on the situation will love uh, the input before i have to head out okay let me check it out lonely piggy where's lonely piggy lonely piggy lonely piggy lonely piggy there's lonely piggy lonely piggy post uh here's the question post the question a, a bit ago but was wondering what your thoughts are chicho there seems to be larger mass illegal immigration going on right now in the in the u.s and europe uh, you've got california saying they'll give their uh, migrants health care what's at play here is this allowed on purpose and if so why free votes bought for manpower uh seems largely meant to yeah um what's happening there's a few things in play at lonely piggy okay one of them is the democrats have come out and said if you're illegal in the united states you can vote we want you to vote because well the democrats opened the doors for this mass migration to come in the united states if i was an illegal uh, uh migrant into the united states I would go vote for a Democrat. <laughs> like I would. If I was there illegally, I would vote Democrat because I want these morons in power because I got more family coming. Come on over. Right? That's one. The second thing is during the Bush administration in the mid 2000s, Bush Jr., they they passed a bill, they passed a law, I believe. I wrote about this way back when, right, in mid 2000s, that they were going and they tried this out but they they reneged on their deal they told illegal immigrants into the united states that if they signed up to go fight their wars and if they served three years or five years i can't remember which one it was they would have land and immigrant status right and they actually tried this out but right now they're because military united states has completely collapsed they're coming out multiple uh government representatives are coming out and saying we need to have an have an avenue for all these illegal immigrants into the united states to have a way to become have landed uh immigrant status and on their way to citizenship and one way we could do it is create a mercenary army that's one way they can do it right so that's another reason that they're doing this here's the third reason okay that this is happening if you recall back in 1980 the carter administration announced that anyone that came directly from cuba and landed in the united states right they would automatically get landed immigrant status and on their way to citizenship to become a u.s citizen right so there was a mass migration i got there's a little bit more to this mass migration of cubans the boat uh, what was it called like the huge number of boats from cuba in 1980 79 80 around there it, scarface documented it, the movie scarface right it showed the video just crazy like a hundred i forget what it was a, a couple of hundred thousand cubans boop, landed in miami <laughs> right whoa that's a shitload of tons of people right because the u.s government said hey you come here directly from cuba you get citizenship bang right there was also mass migration from cuba in the 1990s after the uh, eastern bloc fell and russia ussr stopped uh economically supporting buying sugar from cuba basically right so there was a mass migration of cubans into the united states at the same time as well and i think that you know came from directly from cuba into the united states was also in play now here's the kicker cuba was okay with this because in the 1980s i know this for sure it's documented as soon as the uh, carter administration said come come you will you're welcome here cubans coming directly from here remember merkel in germany said the same thing right what happened was cuba the cuban government emptied their jails and their insane asylums i don't know you call them that's not the politically correct word but their asylums they emptied their jails put all those criminals on boats and send them to the united states right 
guess what? One of the reasons you're seeing a lot of the men, lots of military age men, right? Flooding into United States and Europe is because the United States Democrats came out and said, come, come, we need you. We want you. So a lot of countries, Latin countries, emptied and Caribbean countries. My guess is they've emptied their jails and they're sending them all to the United States. Right. I think that's also happening from Africa into Europe. So there's a and Asia, Middle East into Europe as well, because these World Economic Forum globalist psychopaths said, come, come. Right. We want you. Countries went, damn, we got too many people in jail anyway. Off you go. Right. So there are multiple things in play. And then there's also the theory of the great replacement and all that jazz and all that jazz and uh, collapsing the economy. So, you know, in the build up to World War Three and all that jazz, it, it, there's a lot of things in play. But those are three that I could just come up with right off the bat. Right. Lonely Piggy, absolutely mad. I've seen Poland hold their ground. They seem to be doing very well in comparison. Uh, yeah, but Poland is this clowns running it. They're, they're trying to go to war with Russia. What a bunch of morons. Right. Elder God, I was insulted and attacked waiting for a taxi last night, but an illegal immigrant. It's getting bad now. Uh, I assisted in <laughs> re educating the poor chap. <laughs> chap. And there's a lot of people with mental illness uh, going into Europe. That we've seen. Elder God posted some videos on our Gilded server where one of them was this guy at the window where this woman is filming her, him. That guy was mentally ill. Guaranteed that guy was mentally ill. And there's a lot of these people coming into Europe. That's European leaders doing this to you. When all is said and done... All these World Economic Forum globalists, they should all be arrested and thrown in jail, right? Preferably sent to the jails in Africa. Okay, that that's my take. 